Now, recycling plastics not only protect our environments but also create opportunities for unemployed Nigerians to improve their economic situation. The mission director of ISAID, uh, Nigeria, Melissa Jones, emphasized this during the launch of the Nigeria Plastic Solution Activity in Lagos. Love Oyedokun Plus from Plus TV tells us more in this report. <laughs> The Nigerian Plastic Solutions Initiative, funded by the USAID and the Coca-Cola Foundation, aims to address plastic pollution by implementing innovative recycling solutions. The goal is to recycle 49,000 metric tons of plastic waste in Lagos and Anambra states over the next two years. The U.S. Consul General, Will Steven, who was represented by Kenny's Hills, emphasizes the importance of promoting sustainability for the economy, health, and climate during the lunch event. By incentivizing recycling as a means of averting past plastic pollution, we protect the planet, create jobs, empower youth and other marginalized groups, and foster sustainable development. We must persist in collaborating, innovating, and implementing solutions to address this urgent issue. Together, we can build a future where plastics are no longer a threat to our planet and valuable resources are managed responsibly and utilized for the benefit of future generations. Melissa Jones, USAID Nigeria's mission director, is optimistic about the impact of the Nigeria Plastic Solution activity. She believes that recycling 49,000 metric tons of plastic will greatly contribute to establishing a sustainable and secular plastic economy in Nigeria. It is a new direction that we have to go. We have to do more to recycle plastic. You may also know that in this country, the largest mangroves in Africa rest in Nigeria. But if we don't recycle plastic, it will threaten our ecosystem, our marine life, and of course, public health. Tokumba Wahab, the Commissioner for the Environment and Water Resources in Lagos State, announced the Lagos State government's dedication to transitioning from a linear to a secular economy. He said they have created a plastic waste management policy to regulate and eliminate plastic waste. Our policy, our policy, our policy, our policy, our policy present the shift of plastic waste. Our policy Earlier, Miriam Khan, the general manager of Coca-Cola Nigeria Limited, revealed that the foundation in collaboration with USAID is contributing $2 million each to encourage the development of the value chain and enhance the collection and recycling infrastructure in Nigeria. Love Oyedoku, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.